Well, no amount of compensation can compensate those victims of this uh, complete scandal. However, it does help, and obviously speeding up that process is important. But will he, during the passage of the legislation that the Government has promised to bring forward, ensure that those victims who are completely innocent are not only compensated, but actually completely exonerated, because in their communities they have suffered the stigma attached with all this, and they need to have their names cleared and their re reputations restored? Minister. Well, can I thank him for his point and his regular contributions to this particular subject, uh, which were, uh, he was, uh, he was all frequently in here prior to the ITV series, and I appreciate his work he's done. And he's right to say no amount of compensation can make up for what's happened to many people's lives. So I absolutely agree with him on that point. In terms of all the innocent being exonerated, that's exactly what we want. Um, we know there is a nervousness with some victims coming to the process, into a process that they don't trust and, and they simply had enough. And we met with Howe and Co, one of the solicitors yesterday, um, to talk about this particular issue. And they, they, it was their uh, contention around 40% of the people who were written to to say, we won't oppose an appeal, still would not come forward. We know we have to have a process that doesn't require people to come forward if we're going to have this mass on exoneration of people who've been affected by the surrender scandal. That's exactly what we hope to announce later today. Show this